As farmers and ranchers continue to cope with market disruptions caused by COVID-19, the National Bison Association says the economic disruption impacted nearly all sectors of the U.S. bison business far exceeds the threshold required to qualify bison producers for assistance being offered through USDA's Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. And with more on the story, here's the Montana Ag Network's Russell Nemitz. Bison were among the agricultural products excluded from USDA's first round of CFAP relief in May. At the time, the agency said that insufficient market information existed to demonstrate that bison producers had suffered at least a 5% drop in price and income from the period between mid-January and mid-April. Dave Carter with the National Bison Association says there's no question, though, that U.S. bison producers suffered economic damage caused by COVID-19, like higher feed costs. Holy cow, we found that, you know, the, the weighted average of, of bulls was down about 37 percent, heifers down 25 percent. At the same time, their feed costs were going up uh, about 12 percent. The bottleneck in processing capacity is also creating significant economic havoc. One of the big impacts we're having, particularly for our smaller producers, Russell, is that, um, that just because of the disruption in the, the supply chain uh, is that the processors are now, some of processors are out until March 2021 before a producer can get animals in to be uh, processed. And so, you know, if you got that animal and you got a higher feed cost and you can't get it in to be processed, boy, you're really behind the eight ball. Andy says they're hopeful that the USDA will take their freshly submitted comments seriously and agree that U.S. bison producers should be eligible for some of the remaining $637 million in assistance. We think that we can demonstrate it very, very clearly. So we're hoping that USDA will will listen to us and, and will bring bison producers in as, as being eligible. And then in the longer term, we know that there's some things coming through the COVID uh, situation that, that bison really stands out to where a lot of consumers are moving. And so we're talking about how do we get the message out to, to the consumers as this marketplace changes, that bison is a heck of a lot better choice than um, those fake meat products out there that seem to be getting all the attention. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News.